This bill is only one fifteen, and he telling me to pay for my own food. It's and you brought me here. I know what he got, but no eyebrows is crazy. It's only it's only fifty dollars. But so what? It's the point. You brought me here. Why would I pay for my own food? I got money, but so you, it's a three Long Island on here. I didn't even have a Long Island. Okay, but you asked me what do I drink? I didn't know I was paying for Three Long Islands is diabolical behavior. I don't know if y'all know about Long Islands, but Long Islands will take you there. They sneak up on you at just the right time. And if you have too many, yeah. For my own stuff. I mean, I, I had the transportation. What? I'm not even pay for my own stuff. I don't even care. I can't believe this, y'all. This is real. Like, this is... He really, I had the to he really telling me to pay for. It costs like $30 in gas to come out here. $115. Nah, this can't be real. He tweaking. And I gotta pay for my own food. I might as well pay for it all. I wanna ask you something. If you went out to eat, what to do? If a dude brought you out to eat and he said, Are you paying for your own stuff? Wouldn't you be like, Me personally, that happened to me before. It happened to me before. Oh, it's happening right now. <laughs> the waitress don't want to say nothing. She don't want to mess her tip up. I want you to know that I got money. She don't want to mess her tip up. I mean, that's what you want to do. Just, just, I'll pay the whole thing. Just, are you no, going to at least tip her? You going to tip her? Bro, I, I told you. I didn't. Bro, this is crazy. I don't believe. Fellas. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys understand this. If you ask a young lady out on a date, it is your duty to pay for that date. My man basically saying that he looked at the bill and he ain't like the way the bill was looking. So now she got to pay. You cannot do that. I haven't been out here in these streets in a long time. So I don't know what's the requirement as far as cost for date. Because all the nonsense I've been seeing online, I'm not going for that. But yeah, bro. If you ask a young lady out on the first date, it is your responsibility to pay. <laughs> I don't want the food. I don't want to wait. I don't have time to wait on the food again. Okay. Okay, so, so now what do we do? It's either you get the food remade and you go on about today. Why is she talking like that? My other manager, you cannot. No. Oh. I don't think you should have done all that, player. God, man, I don't think you should have done all that, player. Risking going to jail over twenty dollars is crazy. That's crazy. Secondly, I hope she get fired. Because she definitely escalated that situation with her tone and the way she was talking to this man. I just don't understand certain places where they just don't give you a refund. The man said, I can't wait. Just give me my refund so I can go. I don't have time to wait for the food. Give the man his refund. Her customer service is trash. It's trash. She definitely could have de-escalated that situation better. I thought I didn't get my comments. Who said that? He'd never f a bitch like me because my voice is mad masculine. If you thought I was getting masculine, if you thought I was on some like, yeah, right there, mm. <laughs> baby, if I moan in your ear, you're a goner. Why is she talking like this? You're not going to make it past stroke three. Why is she talking like this? That's it. Okay. I get up right in the air and hit you with the eye. It's over for you. She said, I get right up in that air and hit you with that eye. <laughs> mm. I'm married. I'm married, bro. Every time I see a video with her, bro, she just talking crazy. <sighs> You're not making it. 
So I don't care. Well, I couldn't fuck a girl like that. She sounds too masculine. I don't care. Because the nigga didn't know. He know. Alright? I gotta be quiet. Because if I get too excited, it's, it's a top. It's up. It's up. I better not get my comments. I don't know why, but I I believe her. I believe that it's it it'll definitely be up. Yeah, I don't got no more. I don't got no more to say. I'm trying to get myself. <laughs> I can't even say my word. Ross, Clark, may I tell you wickedness can done. Kill him instant. It's a big stone if you get in the face straight. <laughs> Bro, why are you eating a beef patty in a cup with a fork? Culturally, it's certain things I see that get me upset. You know, in the Caribbean, we have different foods. We have roti, curry goat, and rice and peas. We, we have oxtail. We have beef patty, chicken patties. It's just certain things that you don't do. It was one time I seen somebody putting ketchup on a roti. Ketchup on a roti. To all my Caribbean brethren out there and, and, and sisters, you know we don't do that. Roti already come with enough blasted flavor. Roti already come with enough blasted flavor. You, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Tell me the biggest lie an adult has ever told you, and when you figured out it was a lot. I am 32 years old. My parents have been married for 33 years, but it was only about four, four and a half years ago when we found out the truth about their love story. Growing up, I remember being told that they were, that they met at a park and that my dad bought my mom lunch. Um, my brother heard the same story, except they were, they told him that they met at the mall. Again, the truth came out a few years ago and it was because we were at a family event and one of my cousins mentioned something. Oh, somebody about, snitched. Yeah, it's, a, you know, right around the time when Uncle Steve kidnapped the Adelia and I was like, what? So then when we asked my mom about it, Kidnap? she came clean and she told us everything. Apparently they worked together um, in Fletcher, North Carolina. And, um, you know, they had met at work. They were flirty. Looks were exchanged, all that good stuff. My mom had come over from Mexico and she was living with her two older brothers. Well, they were really strict. They weren't going to let her go out or whatever. And so... Um, my dad just decided to take matters into his own hands. And do what? He got the supervisor to be in on it and to tell my mom that she needed to go work at the building next door for the rest of the day. And so my dad's plan was to scoop in and be the hero and be like, oh, I'll drive you over there. So he did that. Um, you know, they're driving and then suddenly they drive past the building. My mom starts to freak out a little bit. And she's like, where are we going? And my dad says... Surprise, I'm taking you to Georgia to meet my family so that we can get married. So at this moment, my mom starts freaking what? out. She didn't want to do that. And so she said that she even wait, tried wait, to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This man said, I'm taking you to Georgia to meet my family so we can get married. Off of a few looks at, at work? What? Say something like, I have heart issues and I have my medicine. I didn't bring my medicine with me. We need to go back. Um, he didn't fall for it. And so they just kept driving. And once they got to Georgia, my grandma was still alive then. So my dad introduced my mom to my grandma and told her the plans that he had with my mom, that he was going to marry her. And yeah. My mom told her, I'm not going to marry your son. He just took me against my will and yeah, I want to go home. So my dad tells her, fine, whatever, I'll take you back home. But just so you know, your brothers are really strict. They're super Catholic. This is turning into an overnight trip now. They're never going to believe that you and I didn't do anything. 
So at this point, my mom blackmails her too. To think about it, she goes to her room. He goes to another room. Whatever. She ends up going back and telling him, "Fine, I will marry you, but the condition is that you have the conditions are that you have to fund a trip for me to go to Mexico every year to visit my family, and you have to send money to my parents." So yeah, we thought they had a meet cute at the park, and turns out my dad full on kidnapped her. Um, but yeah, I mean, a year later I was born, and then four years later my brother was born. And yeah, we just got back from our annual trip to Mexico, actually, just a few weeks ago, and they're building a house there now. I got to go and help them pick out the tile and all that we stuff. We kidnapped so them, bitches. And my mom got her happily ever after anyway, and you know, she puts up with a lot, but my dad's a good person. Um, I mean, at least he is now. She didn't really care about the nine years that he spent in prison prior to all of this for a murder charge, but... That's a story for another day. Tell me the biggest lie. Hold on, bro. She got kidnapped by a murderer. Hold on, son. How? What? Wait. So, what if it didn't go the way he planned it? What if it didn't go how he planned it? What if she never agreed to marry him? And her brothers actually believed that he kidnapped her? I think it's certain stories we just need not share online. Because, you know, even though it had a happy ending, they had two kids, and then they built a life together. I'm not going to lie, bro. That's that's still a crime. <laughs> it's a lot of motherfuckers that get kidnapped and don't make it. They don't have a happy ending. That's weird, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's weird. That's today's video.